I got a hold of my parole officer, or I had to meet my parole officer when I got out. Uh, you know, got things set up with him. I'm on my medicine, so that in turn led me to go. I got to get into uh, behavioral health rehabilitation. Uh, you know, things were hectic for me back in the day. A little psychosis, a little crazy madness, <clears throat> going nuts on the street. But now I'm living in a home with my dad. It's cool. He's been taking care of me, kind of like showered me with gifts. I really appreciate it. You know, I really love my dad. Um, yeah, you know, <sighs> I got a hold of a social worker. She helped me out with uh, getting opportunities <clears throat> with like coaching because I want to coach. I want to help people get through these mental uh, illnesses and issues they have with uh, housing and, you know, just following their dreams. Uh, you know, it's been kind of easy, easy going, you know, um, I don't want to get a job. It's going to be a little bit more, but, uh, you know, that's in store for me. I'm ready for that. It'll be, it'll be swell. You know, I haven't got to see a lot of my old friends in person, but I know that, you know, once things get around to it, you know, once I get a car and, uh, I start getting mobile on my own, my dad did offer to drive me around to my uh, friend's houses and stuff. But honestly, I have no local friends, only a few, but I haven't really got a hold of them. Uh, yeah, you know, I've been writing this book. I wrote a book in jail, wrote a couple short stories. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful day. Look at this beautiful day. Got the ocean out there or the, the water. I mean, it's part of the ocean <laughs> in Bay Point, Bay Point, California. Yeah, I'm originally from Oakland. I went down to San Francisco. I went down to Southern Cal for a little bit. I went up to Seattle, hung out out there for a little bit. Before that, you know, I was out in uh, Colorado and Vegas and New Mexico. Uh, before all that, you know, I lived in Vegas, but um, I got into the military, Air Force. Ended up going to Texas and Mississippi. Then I moved to Germany with my newlywed wife <laughs> that I eventually got separated and divorced from pretty soon, pretty quickly. But uh, other than that, you know, I still I still communicate with a lot of people. So even my, even my old wife, you know, um, in Germany, I, you know, I ended up I ended up having a kid. You know, uh, she got put up for adoption, though, and um, but I'm still talking to my baby mama or the mom, if you want to call it that. Or call her that, but uh, you know, it's been pretty good. You know, I was journaling a lot in jail, and it was hard to come up with like different things that that I was doing because it was hard to remember a lot of things. Like I was really going through a bad situation. Some things I didn't want to remember, you know, and uh, that happens to the best of us. You know, I had my had my bout with drugs, but um, for the most part, um, I'm only a pothead. <laughs> you know. Uh, I want to do more music. I've been doing a lot of music um, past since 2008. I've been making music off and on. It's pretty good. I'll post some stuff. You know, I haven't posted anything on Instagram or, or I got some stuff on YouTube, but a lot of old accounts. So I want to get like something new going to get something relevant to what, what I'm doing now. I want to post more videos like this, little shorts here and there, some pictures about God. You know, about salvation and the kingdom, bringing the kingdom into play in the world and reality and the normal, bringing the spiritual to the normal. Um, yeah, uh, man, getting adapted, getting adapted since the past two years, two and a half years almost of being incarcerated and locked up. Uh, things have changed a lot. The accessibility has been through the roof. Um, <clears throat> you know, you know, a lot of things change online. You know, I just started using TikTok. You know, I don't really get on it that much, but I see it as a viable source of uh, entertainment and income. Income, you know, if you if you want to do that sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah, I've been, you know, I've been doing pretty good. I've been uh, going out with my dad a lot, you know, hanging out with him. Saw my brother a couple times. Went around, saw some family. Everything's been A-OK. -okay. <laughs> 
got a hold of some people that I met online um, that are far away, you know, in other countries. And I met some new ones since. Uh, it would be nice to get a hold of them more and uh, try to do something big with uh, spirituality or, you know, with our past, really. <clears throat> and um, align and make a project, you know, something something that can help produce well-being and higher quality of living for more people um and also you know help us make a living as well but i'm not looking for riches you know i mean i'm i kind of want to become a billionaire you know one day i have <laughs> i have a stupid video on youtube where i'm like begging people to give me a dollar you like every every if every person in the world gave me a dollar i'd be a 10 bi- or 8 billionaire you know <laughs> we have 8 billion dollars <laughs> Or seven billion, I think. I don't know how many people are in the world right now, but I think we hit eight, eight billion just recently. Um, but yeah, you know, I want to make a little bit for myself and uh, get you know help other people, make a lot for others. You know, do something right for Jesus, do something right for Muhammad, Jehovah, Krishna, Allah, whatever deity or, or higher power you worship. Um, if it's just for yourself or for your family, or you know. Whatever, whatever it is, I'm all down with that. You know, I used to be on a site, or I used to be with a. I used to study things um, from an organization called Spirit Science, and uh, that helped me out coming up a little bit. You know, I. Uh, not that I mean I agree with a lot of things that are said, but some things I think that you know it's too much fluff. It's too much. Uh, like things that people really don't know what's really going on unless you like study the sciences of it more, you know, or, you know, get a hold of uh, <clears throat> what's going on in the medical industry with uh, mindfulness and um, psychiatry, it's, you know, yeah. But, um, you know, I hope everybody has a good time. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there'll be more to come. <clears throat> just journaling things that have gone gone on, you know, trying to get a accumulation of uh, ideas and words that will help you on your journey. Seeing somebody who's gone through some bad things and have uh, overcome them and started to do something a little bit more, you know, um, <sighs> you know, yeah.